Hi everyone, welcome to another video and welcome back if you usually watch Norma's Diaries videos. My name is Norma and I do videos basically on personal finance but um, also about personal growth and some faith. Um, but mainly personal finance because I feel like without your financial literacy, no matter how much you get, it will never be enough and you will never be satisfied and you will never know what to do if you don't know how to manage your money. So the skill that really changed my life is knowing how to budget, how to manage my money, how to track my debts, how to pay off my debts, how to save money. And it has taken me out of the unhealthy relationship that I used to have about money where I feel like I don't have enough and I'm constantly stressed. Okay, so today we've got another episode of Money Talks, which is episode three. And today's topic is how to increase your income. So sometimes you have budgeted. I sometimes go through my one-on-one -on -one clients where I look at your budget and I try my best to help you navigate or maneuver your way out of the debt that you have probably trapped yourself in or um, the bills that are so much that you are struggling to even save money. Um, and you end up realizing that, wow, it's actually not the bills that are the problem. The problem here is the income. Comment down below if this is you. If you have taken everything out that you don't need out of your bills, but it's still not enough. You still can't save. You still can't put extra into your debt. Mainly, usually, that's when the problem is the income. You need another source of income or you need more income so today's video is about how to increase your income okay so the first way to increase your income is to share your skills online i am an example of that um, so you can create a youtube channel you can create a course if you have skills that you can share with people and that is valuable that people will take away something that they will need from you then your videos will do well your videos will go viral people will want to buy your product or want to um, you know come to you for your services for help so for example I create videos on YouTube where I share financial literacy free, like please subscribe if you haven't, it's free. But basically what I do is I encourage you um, in your financial freedom journey, but also I assist, you, I assist you in knowing how to manage and read your debt. Some people don't understand their debt. They know they have debt. They know they have a minimum payment that comes out every month, but they don't know how much is the interest rate and how much is actually going into my debt monthly. How can I pay it off quickly? So all of that, I'm here to make you understand. I upload TikTok videos, Instagram videos. So Having such a platform where I'm sharing information that is valuable to others has helped my YouTube channel grow and my Instagram grow, but also has helped me start a great brand and a business as well. So by sharing your skills, that will help you bring in more money because people will need your help. Okay, and the second one that is going to go hand in hand with sharing your skills is obviously to sell products so now that you have shared your skills let's say for example your skills you know how to um, use the Cricut machine to make stickers like me for example um, and obviously when I have time those are the kind of videos I'm going to start recording how to start a business how to use your skills to create a business for yourself but now that I know how to do this and I've shared it with people, people now trust me. And if I do create products, if I do create the stickers, if I do create a budget planner, people will then buy the product. So sell your product online using a platform like Shopify or um, what's the other one? Etsy or Take A Lot, um, Amazon. There's a lot of platforms you can use to um, list your product online if you don't know how to create your own website. Uh, but there's other ways into selling product online. So as you can see here, there's also dropshipping. So that is another video on its own, but there's a lot of videos about dropshipping. Basically to explain it in the most 
easy way is to sell things that are not yours so for example you could create a website where you have products from alibaba or um, aliexpress and then when people buy it on your website with your price that you have put on you just buy it from aliexpress put that person's shipping address and aliexpress ships it straight to them so you don't have the product and it's not shipped by you or another way of doing it is buying the products in bulk so for example some people use seasons like for if it's if it's winter since we're approaching winter some people will start selling heaters and um, so they will buy a, a lot of heaters like tons of heaters and then list them on take a lot and when you buy on take a lot that person just ships to you. So they use Take A Lot as a platform to list on there because Take A Lot is already known for um, online shopping. So it's different ways of drop shipping. Again, it's a whole video on its own. Um, you can also sell perfumes. I've seen a lot of people sell perfumes like a dupe. I love Chanel perfumes. Um, if someone sells dupes, chances are I'll probably buy a dupe just to spray it all the time. And then I, I leave my 2000 Rand one just to go sh sh one sooner. <laughs> but um, selling those kind of perfumes, there's the Dubai perfumes, Arabic perfumes, I think, that are doing very well um, in South Africa. A lot of people love those. So if you can find out all the information about that, do it. People love smelling good. If you smell good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you show up with confidence. Um, there's also candles. And I wanted to get into the candle one because I love candles personally. I love it when my house smells beautiful, fresh, clean, and I love candles just because they create that cozy, romantic vibe. Um, so if you want to learn how to make candles, you can obviously research all of that and then sell your candles. The only trick about candles is that someone has to actually smell it to know if they would want that smell around their house. Um, so usually they would use like markets and stuff to sell their candles, which I'm still going to touch on as well. Another thing is selling stickers, as I mentioned earlier. Um, also t-shirts, hoodies. People love personalized stuff, something with their name, something with their um, children's name, if it's a birthday, um, or even just something with a Bible verse or something just personalized to what a person wants. Um, people love personalized t-shirts. There's also phone cases and also using birthdays and special holidays to create products. So if you know that Christmas is coming up, creating something about Christmas. If you know Easter is coming up, something about Easter. Um, what's the other one? What's the other spooky one? Halloween. Um, so those kind of holidays that you know are a big deal to some other people, you can create um, special products for those um, for those holidays but also for birthdays you can sell like beautiful personalized things for birthdays so those kind of products are nice and um, people usually do buy them another way to obviously make money online or make more money or increase your income is to do uber eats delivery and i know most of the people who watch my videos is women like me and you're probably thinking angege noma i can never deliver because obviously it's not safe and 100 percent obviously you're going to decide on the location um but also if you are comfortable enough to do it you obviously will also do your own research about that but it is a good way to make money and i was inspired Inspired by one of um, the deliverers, deliveries, I don't know how to say it, but someone who delivered our food here at home. It was a lovely lady, um, and this is her. So I blurred out her face and her name, but I just wanted to show you to inspire you. Um, she has done 1,185 deliveries and she's got a 92% satisfaction rate. And look at the comment below why I deliver is to support my three children and one of them is at university. So it's a mom who's got three kids who's trying to make extra money and has been using um, Uber since January 2023 to deliver food after hours. So after she clocks out of her nine to five job, 5 to 9 p.m. she's delivering food and she's making money to pay for her son's um, 
school fees so that is so inspiring and i just thought i should share that with you obviously again it's a bit tricky with women doing a delivery because you're going to people's houses um but again do your research Another way to increase your income is offering beauty services. This is if you have the skills for it. I know I personally do not have the skills for any of this. And it's so unfortunate because I have a little girl. I don't know how to do hair. I don't know how to do nails. I don't know, like, I don't know any of that. I'm very good with technology, with like um, theory, with books and all of that. But when it comes to hair, beauty, makeup all of that i don't know how to do that so if you do please use the skills i always do my nails literally my nails are always done my hair is always done i used to do lashes all the time so offer those services because people need them i need them i my my hair my nails and stuff is always done because again i am online i have to make sure that my hands look good when i record a budgeting video but also as a student advisor i sit down one-on-one -on -one with parents and students and i go through you know everything using my hands so i have to be like presentable at all times with my hands with my hair with my nails and all of that so i always go and get that done so if you offer those services and you could come to my house and do that Trust me, I'll pay for that. I don't care how much you're charging, I'm gonna pay for that. Um, so offer those kind of services. So as you can see, I've put a few here. There's way more. I put nails, which is the very important one for hands and feet. Um, hair, lashes, waxing, tanning, massages, facials, much, much more. Okay. And the next one, the next way to increase your income is by offering cleaning services. Of course, you already knew that that one was coming, um, but it doesn't have to be just cleaning houses, but that's the popular one. Um, if you can on a weekend offer house cleaning services, obviously again, pick your location. This will bring in extra money for you, but also not just houses, laundry. Again, I got someone who does laundry um, and that is very helpful for me, which means there's way more other people who are hardworking moms who don't have time to do laundry, don't have time to, you know, sort out some things when it comes to, like, for example, like how I mentioned beauty and like, and laundry, I don't have time for all of that. So if I could get someone to do that for me, I, it will just definitely take off a load of me and I could sit down and record a YouTube video while someone else is doing my laundry and making money from that. Um, but then also not just laundry, sneakers, you know, Know, some people are sneaker heads like they love sneakers but they don't know how to take care of them and maintain them and if you know how to offer those services put yourself out there social media everywhere people will come to you with their converse with their vans with their white sneakers and just need someone to clean them maintain them take care of them people pay for those kind of services car washing i wash my car every friday there's a guy at work he does such a great job so i always give him money on that um gardening again some people have a massive yard and they work hard like maybe it's a mom and dad who works so hard and they have little kids they don't have time to maintain the yard and the garden so if you offer those services they definitely will pay for it just to make sure that things are still clean we don't have snakes crawling around or weeds that are growing out and it's just looking very untidy so they would pay for those kind of services um carpets and couches this is also another thing it goes hand in hand with laundry i've got a couch it currently needs cleaning so i could hire a machine and do it myself again i'm now paying for the machine or i could actually just get someone who will come in sorry please don't mind skylar someone who will come in and clean the couch for us um but also the carpet and also roof cleaning people you know who have houses need that sometimes a roof goes black or it grow it outgrows the weeds and stuff um if you offer those services trust me people will pay another service that you can offer or another way to make more money is to learn photography and videography skills photography number one is like here in durban if you at ushaka marine world suncoast 
workshop like other areas there's already people just taking pictures of you like a paparazzi and then they show you those pictures and they look so good and you're like give it to me and they're like it's 20 rand a picture and you you take the picture i'm like give me the three so that's already 60 rand so can you imagine if they get like tons and tons and tons of people um, that they can take pictures of but also if you have a nine-to-five job but you have a camera then that's your saturday um job you know that's another way to bring in the income but also you don't have to just do the paparazzi pictures because um, not everyone has money you can also offer services to take pictures of like newborn photo shoots and weddings and things like that which are events that will you will create a package for yourself and be able to make money from that obviously on weekends if you are working a nine to five monday to friday but not just that you can also also offer video editing so i'm good with taking photos i'm good with videos but i would never be able to offer that because i've got such a busy schedule what i can offer though is video editing and um, because my, my video editing I can just do it at the, in my bed i can like sit on my bed and edit your videos and then send it, the whole product to you so those are the kind of um services that i could personally offer because i know how to use um, Premiere Pro, I know how to use Filmora, CapCut, so those kind of um, platforms and softwares to edit videos. But also, if you have a nice camera that can take nice videos, you can do maybe small weddings, like for starting, maybe small weddings, you know, a wedding where it has not more than 50 people, um, birthdays and baby showers. Um, bridal showers, corporate events, brand creating, like for example if I'm launching a book, I'm launching my journals, I want to start taking really professional pictures so I would hire someone who can take nice professional pictures with my journals. So if you offer those services again I'm going to pay for that. So that's another way to make money, put yourself out there and create a portfolio or portfolios are now kind of out of dated but still do it but your instagram page should show your work and people will hire you because of that another way to make money as you can see i've done so much research for you guys <laughs> another way to make extra money is by learning graphic design or if you already know graphic design offering those kind of services so the main ones that i know about that i currently know myself is photoshop illustrator indesign canva and logo designing so i personally invested in a course to learn adobe suite so i understand photoshop or i know how to use photoshop i know how to use illustrator all my stickers are created on photoshop um, norma's diary journals are created on indesign all the videos that you watch on my youtube channel are edited on adobe premiere pro so i invested in adobe suites and also logos are designed through illustrator um, but there's other people who don't know design who don't have time for that who don't want to get adobe suites or an, or an ipad or a macbook or things that are going to help with um, your design journey but they'll rather hire someone they'll rather hire you just please create a logo for me and um, create a banner at this at that at this for my brand and that's when you're gonna say okay I charge this much per art or whatever it is and that's the services you could offer um, if you know graphic design because every brand that is online currently is trying to make sure that they stand out is trying to make sure that everything looks cohesive professional and they would hire a graphic designer to make sure that everything looks good to someone who's new on your social media another one that is very like important now is web development so for example i have a online store um, and I use Shopify but one day I'm gonna want to get out of Shopify and create my own website um, I currently am learning coding so I could probably create my own website but if I want to do it a certain way and I'm not sure how to do it I would then hire a web developer through Fiverr, Upwork or other platforms so if you are currently studying IT or you've studied IT or you actually just know how to design websites 
this will be a very good um, freelancing service that you can offer because there's a lot of small businesses currently right now who are wanting to create their own website because Shopify doesn't really have an option for you to create like a blog and some people want sometimes want a website where they have like an online shop and a blog um, and that's where you could come in and be like okay I will design it for you and this is how much I charge per hour or per design or whatever it is and um, you can also just create templates for Shopify where if someone wants to use a fancy or a minimalist or whatever template you could offer you could sell your templates that are um what's the word that i'm trying to use compatible with shopify or wordpress um or godaddy or whatever it is um, but you can create templates as well people like something where it's just drag and drop drag and drop i personally enjoy that um you can also create plugins you know sometimes people want to want someone who if you go on my website something pops up and says um join the emailing list kind of thing um, and then they don't know how to do that so that's when you would come in to add that plug in i know how to do that but like not everyone knows how to do that um or help them create an email list and how to automatically send updates um weekly or monthly or things like that people or big brands really need that help and they really do hire from you know external like it's not even only web designers if you currently have a degree in you know accounting and someone is looking for someone who can help them with their bookkeeping and things like that if you offer those services people will pay for it another one that is again a popular one is the catering and the events um, side or industry that could bring in extra money so again there's a lot of them because we all know about them whether there is a wedding a funeral a party or whatever is going on you always need food so catering is a very important um on the list here i've added baked goods whenever there's a party we need cake so we need someone who knows how to make a good cake and it must look amazing um so if that's you put yourself out there people are always looking whether my daughter is turning six um, and she just needs to take the cake to school or she's having a big party i'm gonna hire someone who's going to make that cake for me yes okay so baked good packed meals i know people who buy monday to friday packed meals put them in the freezer and then every day they just pull out the meals put them in the oven and then that's it they don't have to cook at night and it's just a convenient way of living and it's fine if you are the type of wife or person who wants to cook every night and you have the time for that don't judge anyone who doesn't have the time for that whatever works and whatever will help you get some rest and to be able to recharge at the end of the day is fine and and if you offer the services where you can make like a lasagna and things like that where people can put it in the freezer and every single day they pull out and put it in the oven um, or the air fryer or whatever it is then put yourself out there i promise you there's people out there who don't have time to cook every single night because they're working so many hours a day um and then obviously events food so your baby showers bridal showers kids party um, even party packs um, so if you, a child is having a party some people just want to get just party someone is just going to sort out the party packs for me or maybe there's no party maybe it's her birthday it's Skylar's birthday at school and I just want everyone to get a little party pack if you offer those services I'm gonna pay for that give me the party packs I'll give you the money and then I send that to school because I don't have time to do individually 30 party packs you know and you probably make it look more prettier more personalized and I'm just gonna probably get just a, a bag and put some chips and a sucker and that's it and it doesn't look as good as someone who does it as a side hustle Okay, so another way is obviously educational so if you are good in a certain subject if you have specialized in a certain subject and um, you are not a teacher or a lecturer you can offer though those tutoring um, 
services. So for example, I know with my sister, she was doing accounting and it was just intense for her in grade 12. She ended up hiring someone who is currently working in the accounting industry to tutor her just to help, you know, um, make her understand some things that she didn't understand or felt like she wasn't 100% sure about. So if that's you, if you're good, like the ones that I usually see with my students, um, as a student advisor, is students, they're struggling with maths, they're struggling with Afrikaans, they're struggling with accounting, physics, economics, um, some of them even English. So they know English, they can speak English, but they cannot read the questions how it's supposed to be read. So maybe they're missing something or um, the, you know, the literature side of English. So things like that, if you know that you are a major, you specialize in things like that, you can offer tutoring services to help. There's a lot of parents who are looking for it with, for their um, children that are in matric to help them boost you know, their marks so that they can pass matric. Um, and lastly, over there is referencing because in university, some some students don't know how to do referencing, so they also need that help. Okay, and another one that is obvious is teaching English online. Um, this one does require you to have a TEFL, so it is a hundred and twenty hour one hundred and twenty hour certificate that you can do online um so tefl stands for teach english foreign language um and some places or some institutes online institutes require you to have a degree any degree but you need to have a degree some of them don't um, but some of them do so you're just gonna again do that research and if you are doing it from home they, they will ask you if what kind of internet you have so they will choose fiber so if someone else is looking and another person is looking if this person has fiber and you are just using a router chances are they will take this one so it's things that you also have to consider they will wants like a high speed fast wi-fi um, you must have a laptop so your own computer i don't know if other companies send computers but they will require a laptop they will require you to do like a one minute introduction video to see that you're comfortable to speak on the camera you are clear you know how to look at the camera and get people's attention so they want to see all of that so it's maybe things that you need to start practicing um, and also what else they will also ask you if you have a ups so basically it is like a battery that you have if you, if you experience load shedding that you can use to still have electricity if load shedding happens while you are teaching so it's just things like that that um, you have to do your research on but it's definitely possible and what's nice about this one you can make a lot of money you can make a lot of money from teaching English after hours and on a, on a weekend you can make good money okay next one Okay, so another way to make money increase your income basically is by offering coaching and consulting services, which is basically me. Um, so I am currently a budget coach and I want to add more onto the consulting and coaching services because I want to offer even brand and business coaching in the near future. But other coaching services that you can offer is life coaching, um, fitness coaching, sports coaching. So going to a school and becoming a coach. Oh my gosh, I can see the sun. Sorry guys about the my blinds. The sun is getting, I don't know, this side or that side. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting like close to covering my face. But I'm almost done. You can also coach a student or someone who is a swimmer at school and who wants to really improve their swimming time and skills and you can coach them after hours at their home pool or your home pool or at Virgin Active or whatever it is um, and also nutrition coach where some people just need that assistance of um, they probably have high insulin resistance and 
they need help with finding out what to eat to help them not spike too much insulin in their body so things like that you can offer if you have those um, qualifications um, or the experience as well because I am not qualified in finance but I have experience in my budget that has worked that's why I offer the coaching services now I'm not a financial advisor so I wouldn't advise you in like what to invest in and what to use with your pension fund and things like that but if you are wanting to know how to personally manage your personal finance your day-to-day spending then I'm your person. How to manage your debt and how to pay it off, I'm your person. Um, And that's because it has just worked for me and the other people I've coached, it's worked for them. So that's the services I offer as a budget coach. But also the last one, brand and business coaching and consulting, which is hopefully what I'm going to offer by the end of this year or beginning of next year where I can help you start your brand, build your business, learn some skills, teach you more about like the cricket machine and the online world and the TikToks and this and that, how how I've managed to grow it, um, what cameras I use, things like that to help you basically be able to kickstart your brand as well. Okay, and then I think I've mentioned so much um and now there's just a few that i didn't mention there is way more as well and if you know some more as well please comment down below and share it with everyone else but there's things like proofreading i've done proofreading before i used to proofread for joyce mayer um so the zulu books i would proofread them so things like that 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 pays really well there's also copywriting affiliate marketing market vendor that's the one that i mentioned with like candles if you're selling like hoodies and candles and there is a market in your area you can go and put your stall put your table put your gazebo and then put your product and maybe do that once a month and people will purchase from you secret shopper i don't know if anyone knows what's a secret shopper but if you know you know basically pretending to be a customer so that you can provide feedback to the owner um, of the company of how the customer service is like if they are still doing how what they were trained to do um, uber drivers brand manager social media manager um, will be nice to be a social media manager for an international client because they pay well so things like that there's way more again comment down below if you know of others um, side hustles or ways to make money online that other people could try and increase their income so that they could start paying off their debt saving more money but also just living a comfortable life so i really think that is it i hope you enjoyed this video of um, money talks this episode of money talks i enjoyed recording it thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't and i really do appreciate all of you guys